Hot 107.9, Acadiana's hottest music here inside of the Morning Buzz. And uh, it's kind of a late edition of the Morning Buzz, I guess. Um, wrapped up the show for the day, but we've got a special guest in studio now. Chris Reed, the one, the only, the big show. Yeah, the big show's here, and uh, we're going to dive right into WrestleMania tickets. Uh, <laughs> you know, the big show doesn't know. Your boy standing here has been to three WrestleManias. And uh, yeah, I'll good, say good. this. I'll say this. It is the absolute best experience for anyone that's into uh, sports entertainment. Uh, you know, from, from a fan's point of view, you're just taken back by how big everything is when you go to WrestleMania. The spectacle, all yeah. the stars. Yeah, it's, a, it's our biggest event, without a doubt. But what is it like from a WWE superstar point of view when you're coming down a ramp that's like a mile and a half long? Well, the entire, it's not just one day, it's the entire week that builds up to it. It's the entire three or four months that builds up to it. I mean, we're going to Survivor Series now. Survivor Series, after that wraps up, is when you start trying to align yourself for WrestleMania and start jockeying for position, uh, looking for a good spot in the Royal Rumble, continuing on. So uh, it starts to get hunt time for the guys right now, and, and the girls as well. The women's division has taken over main event spots at WrestleMania too. I mean, they've... Uh, that whole division has changed with Charlotte and Becky Lynch and Bailey. I mean, they have revolutionized women's championship wrestling. To it's their matches are ridiculous. Uh, how good they are, their psychology, their work ethic, and, and how much they've done for women empowerment and building the brand itself is truly commendable. I mean, those are future Hall of Famers for WWE without a doubt. I can say that honestly, with those three girls alone. Um, coming down the ramp, well, you got to figure we're there for a week. <laughs> so we're involved with a lot of community projects, so the tension's building. And everywhere you go, you're talking about a week out. Every single thing out of your mouth is WrestleMania this, WrestleMania that, who your opponent is, mm -hmm. what's your strategy against your opponent. Um, so you go into WrestleMania and you walk down this long ramp that's 150 yards long or 175 yards long, depending on how big the ramp is, and you look around, there's 70, 80,000 people. Yeah. And sometimes you just want to stop at the top of that ramp and take it all in. Sometimes you can, and then sometimes you know, like, oh, I don't have a lot of time. i got to get to the ring quick. You know what I mean? But every time you walk down that ramp, it's a re-justification of all your hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that you put into it because this is the single biggest event in our business. This is the stage of all stages, the spectacular event, and you're a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you're main eventing it, whether you're an opening match, you're performing in front of all these people. Um for our guys, and myself especially, it's the most mind-blowing experience. I would compare it to uh, maybe doing something like skydiving or, or something like that. That's that kind of wow. adrenaline rush. Because your heart is thumping really hard in your chest like no other time. Yeah, now, show. i got to ask you, um, it seems as if the WWE has some sort of relationship, uh, love interest, with the city of New Orleans, <laughs> I, I got to ask you, uh, you know, as, as someone who's been in the business and, and you've been in the business for a while, you've been all over the world. What is it about New Orleans that just matches up with WrestleMania? Why is it such a perfect fit? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the, with the incredible history that Louisiana itself has with sports entertainment. I mean, this has always been a hotbed of sports entertainment going back for 30, 40 years. Um, some of the greatest stars our business have ever known have come through the Louisiana territories. So then you add the spectacle of WrestleMania, and WrestleMania comes in, and we're here not just for one day, we're here for a week. So the impact and the positive messages that we have uh, that influence the community between bringing in outside dollars from tourism dollars, between hotels, restaurants, rental cars, the amount of money that we're able to inject into the New Orleans community, which through the different tragedies that have happened, it's been very good for us to be able to help rebuild that infrastructure in New Orleans and give and, and help build you all and support you all like you all support us in, in WrestleMania. Plus, the crowds are amazing. Um, yeah. And you talk about WrestleMania moments. Like, um, ones that stick out in your head, you think about WrestleMania three, Andre versus Hogan. Sticks out in your head like, wow, it's, that was yeah. a WrestleMania. For me, WrestleMania 30, because it was when the streak was broken. Because mm -hmm. I, as a professional WWE superstar in the ring, performer, fan, worked with Undertaker, been an opponent with Undertaker at WrestleMania. Um, I always looked at that streak as sacred. So when you look at that streak as it being sacred, um, you think it'll never be broken. It'll never be touched. And nor should everyone, anyone ever break that streak because it's one of those kind of uh, things that you thought of the time as a, as a purity thing. Okay, yeah. that'll never be broken. That's perfect. They should leave that alone. 
and then it gets broken, and it's like the day the music died. You can't believe it happened. Like, well, the reaction what, what of the just, fans. Yeah. Yeah. In, but in, the, in the guy dome that, that did night. It, yeah. The guy that did it is believable at doing it and has done so much for creating more business than it elevated, you know, um, our storyline. A lot of guys involved. There's been a lot of guys that have been able to benefit from that. So when it really gets back to the core of what our business is, our business really isn't about records or ourselves. Our business is about giving to others. We give to each other in the ring. We give back to our communities and our fans. So at first, I was like, I can't believe they broke the streak. And then now I look at, wow, that was pretty damn smart. They broke the streak. What amazing thing they did for the business. Because in essence, nothing really lasts forever. Everything has to evolve. Everything changes. Everything has its time. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's good for the newer generation and the newer generations of fans to uh, start creating their heroes as well. So tickets go on sale Friday to the Friday. general public. Uh, we do have the pre-sale passcode uh, up on our website at 1079ishot.com. And I want to say this. Uh, get your tickets for the event because what leads into WrestleMania, uh, it, it, nothing will ever surpass the actual event. But there's a thing called WWE Access. And when you go there... It will blow you away. Uh, in New Orleans, I was fortunate enough to go and check it out, and I, here's what I walked away with. They had the life-size replica of Andre the Giant, okay? The statue. Yeah, the bronze And statue. when you stand next to it, now look, look the, this guy's a big guy. He's a big guy. Andre yeah, the Giant was cheated on massive. Statue, so what I'm saying, like, uh, <laughs> I think it, they cheated on the statue. Uh, we, we don't want to talk New Orleans and statues too much. You know, it's uh, not always the best subject. But that statue, uh, you say you were. Oh next my to goodness, it. you're right. Andre yeah. the Giant statue. We can talk about. We can That's talk okay. about that one. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying maybe we can put that. No, one but up. look, access. It's 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 the event that you'll never forget. Well, uh, they actually had Hell in the Cell. Uh, in Houston uh, a couple of years ago when WrestleMania was in Houston, and we got yeah, to actually go inside the, Hell in a Cell. Did you go inside the uh, Elimination Chamber? Y- yes. Yeah, that, that was that, that We was, all hated that. Whoever invented the Elimination Chamber ought to be taken out back. And, but I tell you what, when you get into it as a fan, not one you're soft in part awe. of that Elimination really? Chamber. Like, you get in there and you go, like, wow, everything hurts. Like, it's steel chains, steel grated floors. I'm like, yeah, and we're landing on it. Like, <laughs> yeah. who's Dumbass idea was this. <laughs> it's massive. You know? I'll say that. Though. Like all yeah. of us would go elimination chamber. Oh, well. Do I have to be part of the match? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? I get beat before I get in the match. Like I get beat up in the back. I never know. No, but I mean, you know, that's what our guys do. And WrestleMania brings it out. And you talk about access. Access gives fans one on one interaction with a lot of their favorite superstars, past and present. You'll have a lot of legends that will show up that will do autograph signings, that will talk in the ring for 15 minute Q and A's or 30 minute Q and A's. There's a lot of memorabilia, all the great Attitude Era stuff from the cement car filled up with, uh, the Corvette filled up with cement. Wow. You know what I mean? To all the different gears and robes and boots and and, and all the stuff that has happened in WWE since its uh, innovation is all part of that history. So Access is something that if you're truly a fan or you're becoming a fan, you want to go to Access and take the tour. Yeah. Because it's, you're going to get an education of, some amazing history. And if you are an avid fan, you're going to be reminded of a lot of things that you probably forgot. So access is definitely a good thing. And then a lot of the positive work we do in the communities is also a good thing between be a star and our anti-bullying campaign and, um, our, um, special Olympics and all the things we do within the communities to help, um, be help the infrastructure in the communities as well. And then, you know, the money that we bring in. So it's great for the city of New Orleans and New Orleans always is a fun place to be. I mean, if you're going to do WrestleMania somewhere and you're going to spend a week somewhere, yeah, you might as well spend it someplace that's fun with some good food. So yeah. New Orleans ranks up there a lot better than a lot of other places we've been for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So we're excited about it. It's right up the street. This year, WrestleMania uh, is going to be in New Orleans. Big show here in Lafayette today. Uh, you've made your way around town before we let you go. Uh, speaking of good food, you know that Lafayette, and you've been here before, you probably know about, I'm sure, Reds. Uh, oh, that, was it, where did we just go? Red Roosters? Rusty Rooster. Rusty Rooster. Rusty Rooster. Oh, okay, yeah. oh, Rusty Rooster. I was Rusty about... Rooster? Yeah. No, 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 he knows about Reds. He's been in the He's gym. He's been in the gym. Reds. Oh, yeah. Reds gym. I'm going there after here. We got to send you to places to get you into why, reasons <laughs> to go to the gym. Oh, yeah. I went to the Rusty Rooster, and now I'm going to go to Reds gym and train arms. So he's done... I had the most amazing, like, breakfast. Did like, you get the ribs? chicken yes. bi- biscuit? No, or did, I didn't. What did you get for did, breakfast? I'm trying to eat half-acted sensible, so I had... I just had scram- so he did rusted rooster, which is That's very good local yeah. and very amazing. But I had scrambled eggs with cheese grits. Yeah, the grits are ridiculous. Like those are real homemade grits. Like yeah. they ran out of grits. They're like, oh, we only have two servings of grits left, and you're just sitting there like, oh my 
my God, this is what grits are supposed to taste like. <laughs> like, it's been 30 years since I've had grits that good, since I left South Carolina. Wow. You good know, stuff. like, I literally, like, I it's one of those kind of things, like, you're like, oh, well, these are amazing. Like, yeah. are, are your grits award-winning grits? Does anyone know how good your grits are? <laughs> you got to bring those grits worldwide, man. Uh, yeah, rusted rooster you, grits. But if Grits if, are a hard thing to get done. I'm from South Carolina. South Carolina, we can do grits pretty good. But I'm telling you, y'all in Louisiana? Yeah. Y'all got your grit cooking down solid. <laughs> That's good. Y'all can cook some grits. Grit experts. Big show. Uh, again, thank you, you for your time. You can't get grits in New York, by the way. Don't I, even try. I, I, I wouldn't uh, try it at all. I don't no. think you can get much uh, anything Cajun seasoning. I laugh when I see the word Cajun. Yeah, I bet. You know, I bet. In, in, I bet. Uh, in, in New York City. But uh, you're in Cajun country. We thank you for coming by. Again, 1079ishot.com. Pre-sale code is live. You can get your tickets before they go on sale for everyone else by using Hot1079 as our pre-sale code. Uh, big show. We thank you so much, and uh, hopefully we see you at WrestleMania. Hopefully I'll be the big guy in spandex. Thank you all very much for having me.